in my mind i already know that this is not a new car like in my mind i already have um the mindset like i have already pictured the kind of car that i'm expecting to come and pick me All I need is no one of us. hey guys welcome back to the channel if this is your first time stopping by you are welcome welcome to this amazing family please click on the subscribe button just below this video so that you will join us here please you don't want to miss all the juicy juicy stuff that i have for you on this channel <laughs> to all my subscribers you guys are also thank you so much for constantly supporting my videos i am grateful so in ghana plate numbers like car plate numbers are given according to the year you register the car let me um make it more clearer especially for somebody like me who might be um, coming from Nigeria, who is in Nigeria, or who lived in Nigeria that knows how this system works in Nigeria. So in Nigeria, we don't really do um, like the way Ghanaians do. You just bring your cars. I think they have one particular number that they give to your car. Um, they have, and they give um, car numbers according to like we have taxi states in Nigeria. So if you are if you want your car to be registered under Abuja, um, then your plate number is going to have abuja at the end of the yeah to have abuja something that um signifies that it's an abuja kind of plate number or abuja car you know that kind of stuff so you have um something like abj at the end like after the numbers you now have abj yeah so if you are registering your car in emo you have im if you're registering in enugu you have enu um then in like yeah, if you're registering your car in enugu we have places like Kuwani, we have places like so some um like a kind of um, um will i say local government so sometimes you will see at the end of the number like two letters comes come before the numbers like three numbers or so so after the three numbers then you have the last number the last alphabet which will be um a state maybe an initial of a state you understand i don't know if i am making sense especially for someone who is not um from nigeria okay let me tell you how it's done in ghana like if i buy I, if i'm buying my car this year 2022 so what my car will have at the end is 2022 instead of maybe Abuja, APJ, or Lagos, or Ikeja, you understand? So at the beginning, it's going to have GH, that's Ghana. Yeah, yeah, I think they have other alphabets that, you know, describes where the country, um, the region or something, but I know the end part of it is um, the year that you registered that car, which is if I'm registering my car this year being 2022, that means, my car number is actually going to be ending with the numbers 2022 if um if i bought my car in 2021 it will be 2021 at the end of the numbers i don't know if i'm making sense but i'm just going to put um some plate numbers here that if i'm yeah if i'm able to see i'm going to put what a nigerian kind of uh when a drop plate number looks like and what a Ghanaian plate number looks like let me tell you let me kind of explain it more right if you buy like and if you're passing on the road and so because let me explain before i go into the joking part of it if i bought my car in 2018 2018 what my car will have at the end of like after having maybe gh 121 um then it will have 2016 or 2018 so anybody that sees 2018 like it kind of shows the person that this car has been here for a long time if you see okay before they enter the 2020 something they have um i think they have z i think i have seen z letter z because i think they started with z before they entered into the numbers so when you see z you know that this car it is, it's a very very old car you'll see a car that has the letter z then it's like oh it's a very old it's an old car because when the z was in existence they have not even started with the numbers you can imagine that so that car is an old car and when you look at this car it's actually an old car unlike in nigeria that you don't have there's there's no how you can say because um because i you just know the car from the brand that's if you know the brand or the year it was manufactured but here whether your brand is high or not, once the person look at that 20, 2018 or 2022 or 2021, the person already know that your car is either new or old. <laughs> 
So as we have entered 2022 now, any car that you see with a plate number 2022, please give it respect because it's a new car. It's a new car. You understand? So in Nigeria, we, we don't do it like that. We do it according to to state like regions. If your region, like let's say um Ga, okay, let me use no, let me use Accra. Okay, let me use Accra. Your plate number will be something like because it's Ghana, right? But at the beginning, you will have letters like GH. I'm talking about Nigeria, how it's done in Nigeria. At the beginning, you have something like GH. Then at the middle, where you have the numbers, the numbers will be there. But at the end, where you have, where Ghana will now put the year, Nigeria will put the state. That's the, the region where that person will be start car from. Or the region where that person, as in the region that the person wants the place number, like if, if you see something like um, Ikecha, Imo, or other stuff, but here, one, one, once you see a car, I think where my eyes go is the numbers, because as in the numbers at the end of it, whether it's 20, 80, like if I'm booking, <laughs> I'm guilty of this, I'm, I'm not going to lie, right? If I'm booking Uber, if I'm using Uber and I booked and I saw 2017, 2018, in my mind, I already know that this is not a new car. Like in my mind, I already have um, the mindset. Like I have already pictured the kind of car that I'm expecting to come and pick me, right? I'm not. I'm not expecting it to be a new car. I'm expecting it to be one gura gura, right? Because it's now an old car, and the numbers because the numbers have already given me like yeah, the numbers have given me some. What will I? How will I put this? Yeah, from the numbers, I already know that it's not anywhere close to. 2022 this is 2016 or 2017 it's an old car and believe me when that car arrives it's exactly like that right <laughs> so i did not know about this i was just seeing numbers until i asked about it then i was like oh really in nigeria you won't even know if this car is new so see what people do some people actually buy their car and wait for like this 2022 some people actually have a car they bought in 2021 but they did not number it. They waited for 2022 to number it. So, you know, when you are passing now, that car will have some respect. And believe me, <laughs> we look at the numbers and we know that this is a new car. You will hear something like, oh, it's 2022. It's 2022 car. 2022 car, that does not mean that that car was manufactured in 2022. But because it's half that number, 2022, everybody respects it. Like, it's, look, it's, it's assumed there's a new car, right? I don't know if... Um, making sense like uh, but i wish you can understand what i'm saying yeah let me see how i can break it down right now um the numbers are assumed to be like when you if you have a new car then what if you have a new car like if you buy your car in this year 2022 what you actually get as your plate number is 2022 as if you registered that car this year right if you but if if it was on it was in 2021 that you bought you buy your car or you bought your car the numbers will be 2021 so anybody that sees that car already know that this car is not a 2022 car you grab it's not like maybe it's mercedes 2022 model or is toyota 2022 model it's just um the numbers and that is how is seen like if you are driving to like now if i if i if i'm buying a car this year oh jesus like I have some shakara kind of, you know, some proud, you know, kind of thing in me because it's my numbers will be 2022. So when I see people that have the 2020, 2018 or 2016 or 2021, I'm just looking at them like this, you know, because I'm on the top. <laughs> but it's not like that in Nigeria. You know, you just know the, um, the car from, you, you won't know in Nigeria if this car was, um, if the person purchased the car in 2021 or 2028 or 1915 you will just see the numbers okay <laughs> that is it so it's kind of surprising see in, in countries have their different ways of doing things so if you are in a new country and you are expecting to see the exact thing that you are seeing in your country it's not going to be like that so this is how cars are being numbered in ghana it's quite quite different from how it's been uh, numbered in Nigeria. So plate numbers here bears the year of your purchase, like the year that you purchased that car. I purchased my car in 2018. That car number will be 2018. If I purchase my car in 2022, 
that car number is going to be 2022 Igram. But in Nigeria, it's not like that. You're just going to see numbers 09. Um, you can just put um, IM123 uh, in, uh, uh, or maybe in Ubu, there will be um, BNU123. Um, yeah, one like they just put um, maybe the the local government or something. Apart from that, there's no how you can know when the person um, um when the person purchased the car or when the person um, put a plate number in the car. Okay, this is actually for right. So when a car like when I'm sitting down <laughs> where I normally sit to sight them, I will be looking at cars. You know. So when I see a day that park and it's 2022, then I'll know that this car arrived this year. You grab. <laughs> it's not like it's today this year's model or because of the number. You already know that the person bought it this year or even if the person uh, purchased it the previous year and decided to place it this year. It's this year that we are seeing, all right? See you guys on my next one. I love you all. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'll see you again on my next one. I love you. Bye.